that's good. You're the one that ate the meat. <laughs> Stripping his crew. Hello and welcome to Will of the Scry. Back again for another episode of One Piece. We are jumping back into Alabasta. And before we even get into all that, I just want to thank everyone who's shown support to the channel. Um, we have been dealing with a lot of copyright issues and it's it's added so much additional work. But would really appreciate if you guys could further support the channel, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It'll really help merit all the extra work that we've had to put into the last couple episodes there and moving forward ideally we're hitting that perfect balance of transparent enough so that you guys can see the content but also not giving us a whole myriad of issues um, but with that being said we can jump right back in alabasta the last thing we saw um well we saw a few things we know that ace left right what else scryerman um, they were rallying around the casino, I think. They were rallying around the casino. <laughs> Crocodiles locked in, yeah. Yeah, he knows they're all there, and he, he's ready to pounce. He knows they're, they're little m mice in a trap, ready to be pounced upon <laughs> by the, the Sandman. With that being said, I'm all set to go back in. Are you ready, Scryerman? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to see uh, how this turns out. All right, here we go. It does look like a lot of fun from the outside, anyway. I agree. Oh, man, I miss gambling in this pandemic, man. <laughs> he just screams his name in the middle of his casino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one cares. What if he's drunk or disgruntled? Ooh. True. You know what's bad when Usopp's spinning that logic on you. <laughs> <laughs> His hairstyle's wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I think Crocodile would have. Uh oh. Manager. Hmm. Security's a front for her. What's a VIP? <laughs> Zoro's so calm he's when falling. <laughs> probably a smoker didn't fly out. Or could he like go through these holes maybe? Oof. Remember the tip of his of his jute of his sword is sea stone. Oh. I once helped take down a bomb, man. <laughs> Is the sea stone, like, exceptionally strong in this, uh... Well, it's it's stone with the same elements as sea. Right here. He explains it. Oh, so it can activate the... Mm -hmm. Sea in its solid form is a great way to put it. Mm -hmm. So the greatest prison in the world, all the all the cages, all the bars are made out of this sea stone. Hmm. <laughs> I love his voice actor. It's the first time they're all seeing him, including Smoker. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, so he never didn't know what he looked at, like. Yeah. 
Besides a bounty poster, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> Do you recognize that getup? That outfit? Um. No. <laughs> Is it the king? <laughs> oh. So he has a Zoan for your first time you're seeing one outside of Chopper. Yeah, I didn't know what to say. I didn't even put that together. I thought Karu might have had another form. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Remember the only time you saw her use her power it felt like I think you said it, it seemed like the force Yeah So I'm wondering like I'm very confused. <laughs> so she can make arms spawn? Wow. What did we see her do originally? I'm trying to put that she together. She threw the bomb with her hand off of the ship. As long as she has vision, she can sprout her body parts anywhere. He ain't shit on the vice president of the Baroque Works, let alone Crocodile. <laughs> I can never tell when people are dead or not in the show anymore. <laughs> you keep thinking that, Scryerman. You keep pondering. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good. You're the one that ate the meat. <laughs> Stripping his crew. Oh, shizzles. So I guess her guard guy is dead, I'm assuming. See, Luffy's being smart. He's like, don't go for mm -hmm. him directly. Let me out. Okay, so now we're really... Oh, wow. You were wondering about his power, right? <laughs> he literally go in her pores. Oh, so that's like... <laughs> I love how they just address her as Miss Wednesday. It's kind of badass. I know. Should be the last member, hopefully, alive. I feel like it's a um it's like a psychological thing, you know? Like I wouldn't 
dare dress you as a princess. You're too measly. You're just one of my subordinates, you know? So they just keep saying yeah. this Wednesday. I think that's the reason he didn't just kill her, too, because he could, he's doing the classic villain mm. thing where he could just end them all right now, but totally. <laughs> it's going to bite him, I think. 100%. Um, all right, let's not waste any time. Let's jump to the next one. All right, we're starting episode 107. It all commences. The whole plan comes to fruition. Wow, this is kind of unsettling imagery. This orange. It's like intense. Yeah. Yeah, they think he's abandoning them. They probably think he's being cowardly. Project Utopia. Is he lying right now? Think about a bunch of facts that have been sprinkled out thus far. Oh, is that serious, huh? International offense. Maybe it was all front this whole time. He's trying to lure the culprits out or something. I don't know. <laughs> Seems pretty drastic to lure something out. <clears throat> Try and consider all possibilities. I'm kind of keeping a very open mind. <laughs> <laughs> After the Usopp misdirect when he got stabbed, I'm not committed to any knowledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should commit to knowledge. It's actually a very clear, but you, you got to think about it. You'll, you'll be like, oh, as soon as you realize. Is it Mr. Two? It's a huge ship. Yeah, I can't. Pro I can't process this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no clue what's going on. Hmm. <laughs> Took you a while, but you called it. forgot she fucking walked like that. <laughs> What's her name? Well, her name is Paula, but it's Miss Doublefinger. Oh, so this little kid saw it all. Oh, shit. Pretty sure he actually got killed there, if I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> they cut it out or what? Yeah. Is it in the manga? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't come back. Like, it's insane. It's in, you know. Oh, wait. Yeah. Hmm. 
Didn't even stop to consider what that ship was. Yeah, exactly what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Fatty and old hag. There you go. Damn. So they got more people. It's bold in the nation, yeah. Because the rebel, I mean, they did that in the key city, right? Like the biggest port city. Everyone saw that. So even if they weren't rebels, you know, you just got more people and all the weapons they need. Everyone's ready to go. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, Luffy's got that look, boy. The howls. Ooh. Ooh, that cuts deep. True. Mm -hmm. Hope that he has some secret power we haven't seen. Yeah, I'm. I don't know how they're. Maybe Karu's gonna come. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, keep that that brain. Try to think of a way out. Keep it turning. Yeah, because that's crazy. Wow, I I'm really surprised how much that one line really um, hit me deep. The uh, the line where he was like, "Everyone all wants the same thing, to protect Alabasta, to protect this country. Every single side that's right. it's intermingled in this. You know, literally every. You think about every single side. It's it's. The rebel army, of course, the average citizen town member. You think about Koza's dad. He's doing it his way. Um, obviously, the the king's men mm -hmm. want to protect the the palace and, and you know the country that way. The king himself right. wants to protect it a different way. And then you have Luffy's so were crew, those... you know, and they all want right. to do it, you know. So those were the actual king's men with Mister Two. No, he had like convinced them. Those were all broke okay. works in in. Those are all pirates. Broke works, not pirates. Broke works in oh, right. in those costumes, um, all dressed up. So that's it for episodes one hundred six and one hundred seven. Really heart wrenching. The war has officially started, and you could see all the turmoil that led up to this point. Mr. Two played a huge role, Mr. One and Miss Doublefinger, and then we learn about Mr. Four and, and, and Miss Merry Christmas and what they were up to, and that was the kidnapping of the king. So we're going to see all that come to fruition in the next two episodes. But with that being said, I am Kirk D. Cam. I'm Scryerman. And this is Will Descry. <laughs>